so welcome back to another edition of Dax Fridays and this Dax Friday is special. It's, it's a bit different. What I am going to show you in today's Dax Fridays is a list of uh, quick tips, a list of um, keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys that you can use to modify Dax code quickly to make changes in the Dax code. These tips I learned from a website called VI Insights. I've shown you tricks from him before. His name is Soho. I have a link below to his website. Make sure you go there and give him some love because they're absolutely amazing. I mean, you have to see this video. If you want to write code easily and fast, this is, this is it. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to show you 16, 17, you know, shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts that you need to know when writing DAX. So let's go. So this is the blog post where I found the best collection of shortcuts for writing DAX ever. I have shown some posts from him before his name is here. Uh, Suhel Bakshi. <laughs> Sorry about saying your name that bad. But um, he just uh, collected all the tips or tricks he knew about hotkeys when writing DAX. I knew some of them, but some of them I didn't know. They're absolutely amazing. So make sure you come here, subscribe to his blog, give him some love because this is absolutely amazing. I'm going to show you the tricks that he has shown here. There will be a link to the blog post as always. Come here and show him some love, okay? So now let's go back to Power BI and I'll show you these things. Okay, so we are in Power BI and to do this demonstration, I actually created a table with all the, the tricks is here. And we will go through the tricks one by one, right? So I have a filter and you will be able to download this file. So don't worry, you will have all the, the hot keys tricks here. If you know a hot uh, key that is not in here, let me know and I will update those in this file, okay? Amazing. Okay, let's not talk anymore. Uh, hot key number one. It is how to create a new line without indentation. I've shown you before how to create it with indentation. Chris Webb show us that. I'm going to show you without first. So new measure, new line without indentation. So what you do is, as it says in here, you place press Alt enter okay and as you can see the cursor goes to the first uh, place on the next line and here you can write anything you like right and if you press it again it will again continue giving you no indentation which is fantastic uh, so that's one we are going to show you two which is new line with indentation we've talked about this before and this shift enter so new line with indentation and if you press shift enter without having any code it will actually give you the first line without indentation right but if you continue using it for example if you use calculate and then you use shift enter you see that um it comes with indentation and then just for the sake of not breaking this just let's write something i don't know whatever okay so if it's the first line or there is no function it will not indent but if you have a function then it will indent okay and if you press again it will not make a new indentation it will continue on the same place but of course if you have a Uh, I don't know, let's say filter products. You see, if you have a new, if you have a new function, um, it will actually, uh, 
create a new indentation from the place it was be. So after a function, it will indent again. Otherwise, it will keep the indentation in the head. Um, so that's num hot key number two. Let's move on to hot key number three. And this is how to indent to the right in case you want to do it manually. So if let's put hotkey oh yeah I have it there um, here's the thing because I have a Swedish keyboard the control and this uh, bracket does not work for me I need to use tab and he actually tells us the difference between using the bracket or the tab and is that when you press, uh, press tab it will indent whatever you have your cursor on while if you use control and this bracket, it will indent in the new line. Um, I don't know how to do this with the Swedish keyboard if, or, you know, an international keyboard. If you know, let me know and I will update the file. So I will have to continue using um, tab and shift tab. But let me show you anyhow, in case you didn't know this. So let's come here, we create a new measure, we say indent to the right. We start with, it doesn't matter, shift, enter or alt, enter, we know now it gives the same. So if I click shift tab, as we explained before, it, because there's no function, it goes back to where it started. But if I click tab now, it will indent. So that's quite useful, right? Now let's copy this. And we're going to tip number four. And this is going to be indent left. So for indent left, you press shift and tab. So now that we have this one here, you can press shift tab and it will go back. If you press tab, it will forward, shift tab, it will be go back. So let's go to tip number five. We have 16, my friend. My God. Okay, tip number five, uh, move the line up. This is super cool, let me show you. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to copy this code and we have this DAX function. And what he says is that if you press Alt and then the up arrow, it will actually move the line that you're on up. So let's do it. Alt, up. Easy. And of course, Alt down, it moves it down. So this is super cool. Uh, let's put it there. Let's say that you have this comment and you want it, you know, you say, I wanted to have it at the end. Cool, you can do it where I want to have it up here together with the other comment. And you don't need to be in the end of the, or the line or the beginning of the line. Just pick a line wherever you are and you can move it up and up. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, so that is tip number five and tip number six is move the line down. So we've already shown you that with this so let's put it like that i'm going to give you this so you can play with it i think it's a good way to get a new habit because this requires repetition at least for me tip number seven enter multiple lines up okay so what we're going to do is we're going to copy these we are going to paste what we had and let's say that we want to comment out the entire thing. We said, ah, this is not really working, but I don't want to delete it yet. You press Control, Alt, and then up, and then up, and then up. And then you can comment everything out, or you can write whatever you want. These we try later. How cool is this? And of course, seven is up. Eight is down. Okay, so this is like super useful. I'm I'm hoping that you are as excited as I am. Maybe you already knew this. Tip number nine: activate 
IntelliSense. Let's try this out. So, control space. Let's go to this one. And you know sometimes when you write tags and you say, oh no, I don't want this column, I want the other one. I always go here and try to, you know, change it and it gets like super complicated and it just doesn't do it the way I want it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, control space and there you have it. I mean, how cool is this? Okay, that was not exactly what I wanted. Here you can go and you can go in products. Or if I had more tables, it will allow you to choose other tables. Finally, Lifesaver, this is fantastic. So next one, tip number 10, comment lines. Yes, let's say, and this is a very useful trick actually, when you are travel shoot, you're not creating complicated tags where you try different ways. Let's say that you try something, you get performance issues and you say, oh, maybe I should try this, but you don't want to delete the code. Something that is very, very useful to do is you can get, for example, to this line and say, I wanted to comment it out. I don't want to delete it yet. So you can click, he says control and then the backslash. I can't use that one. I don't know, maybe it's because I have a Swedish keyboard, it doesn't work, but I can definitely use the control plus KC, control plus KC, and it will comment out. And then the only thing you need to do up here is to actually change that one so your uh, DAX measure won't break. So this is super useful. And then if you say, oh no, I want it back, no problem. I, I wish I could, you know, I can enable back on disable that thing. Okay, control K U and control K U will bring you everything back. Okay, so really, really, really useful. It's a quick way instead of, you know, having to go to here and putting it there and dun dun dun. I would definitely use this control up arrow for doing that, but Let's say that you're writing something in there uh, and you say, uh, this is an awesome DAX measure. I say, oh no, I should, I would like to have this as a comment. And then you have to go all the way to the beginning. You don't need to. Control K, C, and there you have it. Okay. So Control K, C, comment lines. Control K U and comment lines for those of you that do not have his keyboard. I don't know, I'm guessing there is an American one. Maybe it's not. This one use works, right? So hotkey number 12. Find and replace a word. Oh, this is super cool. Um, so this tip is super, super useful. Watch it out. You go to the word that you want to find, you press Ctrl D, and then you press it as many times as the word exists. So you just continue until nothing else gets highlighted. And then we are going to change the name, the table from products to categories, right? So while you start writing, it starts to, the intelligence kicks in. If you pick that, it won't change everywhere. It, you, you see that it only changes what I wrote. You can press Control C, set, set that, you know, Z to back and to, you know, undo what you did on DAX. I don't know if you knew that. Perhaps I should add it to the list. I can do that. So what I found is that you need to write, got the, you need to write it. You cannot use, I got the gorgeous. You cannot use IntelliSense for that, um, but it works beautifully. As you can see, here we have, instead of products, categories, and it changed everything in a heartbeat. It's super, super, super useful. Um, I will add the control set to the list later. So we have find and replace a word. 13, find and replace all. 
So for find and replace all, you just again click on the word that you want to find and replace all. This is like super useful. Control, Shift, and then L, and it will highlight all. So you don't need to know how many. You just highlight everything. And then here is the same thing. If you start writing, you know, it won't take it. So Control Z to go back. You need to actually write everything. Product. In the pretext, a product, and then it will change. Ah, it will change. <laughs> it will change everywhere. Oh lord! So really useful, isn't it? Super, super cool. Okay, next one. Go to line number. So, Control G, and then line three, and there you go. Line six and then you go so it is a pity that we don't have line numbers in, in DAX because that would be quite useful when you have like these long DAX measures but still quite cool you, sometimes you can just see this is line four so you can just control G and go there next one delete a word control delete and uh Control set I will bring it back. So uh, did you see what it did? It will delete whatever it is. Um, control set in um, after the cursor. So if you want to delete the entire word, you have to be in the beginning, okay? Uh, otherwise, it will just uh, partially delete what is in there. But it brings us to line. Uh, to a hot key number 16. So this key will delete um, multiple lines. Okay, it will delete a line or it will delete more than one line, not just a word. So if you press, if you put the cursor whatever you line you want to delete and then you press Control shift k and then you press it again and then you press it again, then it will delete those rows. And this is super useful sometimes when you want to delete parts, parts of it, you know. Um, this means that you have to write, you know, code in lines, not just one line. Otherwise you won't be able to use this, but it is a good practice to do it anyway. So control Z to go back. And here we have the entire um, DAX function again. So place place it where you want it, control shift K and it will delete or control Z to undo the delete. And those are all the tips. So what do you think about the shortcuts? They are absolutely amazing, right? I love everything that has to do with productivity and agility. I think it is fantastic. It's going to be so much easier to just write code efficiently. So make sure you go to Sohel's Twitter or blog or LinkedIn or wherever you can find him and give him some love. I think the tips are definitely a lifesaver. And if you have any additional keyboard shortcuts that I haven't mentioned, why not share it with me? And if I gather enough, I can make another video. Otherwise, I will just add it to the DAX Fridays download file. So, I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. I had a blast doing this video. I will see you again on Monday. So, have a fantastic weekend. Bye.